Now listen, often I'd like to think of myself as, uh, smart. But sometimes I may do questionable things and then re realize them later. I can paint. It's so weird that they called it I can paint instead of pendulum painting. Because it's a can. The painting is done in a can. They made a pun. Oh. And I absolutely love the fact that many of you went with the joke and started mocking me in the comments. That's okay. I take it. I have very strong feelings. I'm not gonna cry. My heart is not fragile. I'm not just gonna be a little fragile baby. I am not a baby. Which brings me to today's game, which is basically testing my brain to see how smart I am. This game is called... Smart Brain. Mind-blowing game, apparently. And according to the TikTok ad, you have three different doors where you can choose who to go for between a serial killer, bloodthirsty vampire, or a lion hungry since three years. Okay, so those are important decisions. Let me know in the comment section below which one would you take. No cheating, don't cheat, because I know some of you are going to be just cheating. Don't do that. All right, what do we pick? Lion hasn't eaten in three years. Ah, so it's dead. My brain didn't register that. Oh no, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm not gonna make this game, am I? Okay, what's what's the point of this puzzle? I don't know. So we're not getting a prompt, but there are nine stories apparently with hundreds of puzzles. And level one already starts with what would we do? Oh, that was way too quick. Hang on, what happened? Okay, so we have Deadly Piranha, Killer Robot, Raging Fire. I feel like we can get away... Oh, the finger's pointing at the water. So we can use our environment to our advantage in order to get out of a situation. I see. So it's not just brain, it's street smarts, which we know I have. Apparently. <laughs> and then the ad for the game has 91 ratings at 4.5 stars. Oh, we get another mini video here. How to save the girl and just push her off. Okay. Turn the fire. I don't want to get too many spoilers, so we're going to just get off of that. And we have different puzzles to jump. Can you fix the car's wheel? Are they, are they going to be that interesting, though? I don't know. Okay. We can find out. We're going to see if this game is worth it or if it's another dumpster fire kind of game. You know what isn't a dumpster fire, though? Subscribing to this channel, otherwise I may slash you. So let's go ahead and open the game, see what it has to offer us other than ads. Not of course they won't notificate. No. Oh, so there are classics, and then we start off with the puzzles right away. What happens if I click on a classic? Which is the largest animal? Let's start with the easy one. Okay. Though it appears small on the screen, yes. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not in grade one. What is this? Which of the following is nearest? Now let's take a hint for this one. You can always tap here. Okay, hang on. Which of the following is nearest to Earth? Well, the moon, right? I mean, I don't want a hint. It's not the moon? Okay, let's take a hint. Oh, Trixie. <gasps> so hang on, this has nothing to do with smart. It's basically whether, yes, some smartness or some tricksiness because here we're going off the word Earth nearest to earth now not the picture but they're talking about words we have to select the sun because it's the nearest ah okay I, i'm i'm getting it it's a little on the tricky side change the direction of the sunflower do i just tap on the sun do i just dim the sun what what did i do i just tapped on the other sun what tap the cow to pass this level tap the cow is it the word cow am i tapping the word cow or am i tap the heck Tap. What is this? What's this transparency thing? Am I moving it and then tapping the cow? I feel dumber. Is that is that what trivia games are supposed to do? <laughs> I don't get it. Someone help me. I'm getting the solutions, but I don't understand the process. You know, it's like when you're in school and they're like, the best way to get points for a math exam is you have to show your entire process on the page and then the solution is worth minimal amount of points compared to the actual mathematical equation. I feel like I have the answer, but not the equation. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Now, level five is asking us once again, which is the largest animal. It said once again, thus it should still be lion. Why not? Oh, wait, am I supposed to? Oh, I moved the lion. <laughs> to do with brain sneaky the sneaky snakes the slithering in the sunset on the sand the sneaky very sneaky <laughs> so it's the elephant i get you nine months to deliver the baby wait stop interrupting me i know there's coins i don't want coins right now 
Okay, nine months to deliver the baby. Can you make it quicker? Do I pull the calendar? Do I just... What do I, what do, I do with the calendar? Do I move the clock? Oh, this is... Okay, it has something to do with the calendar. Aha! There we go, we tap the calendar. Gotta tap the calendar, make it move. And there we go, November. She got the bibbit. She now got the bibbit. All right, so I went out of the smart bla blain. <laughs> Smart brain classics is what I was trying to say. And let's see what a story challenge looks like. Let's go ahead and take the witch door. I think those are pretty interesting. So let's go ahead with that. There are three doors, one choice, only one can save your life. All right, so we need both logic and creativity. Creativity. Wow. Can can y'all just give me some English, please? Over here, thank thank you, thank you. That's, that's, that's a lot of Englishes. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna eat it. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to talk for the rest of this video. <laughs> I'm just so flustered. Okay, we've seen this one. Which door will you choose to survive? So we have serial killer, vampire, and a lion that's been starved for three years. So we're gonna go ahead, choose the lion, cause it's just bones. It just bones, it's just bones. And we have an ad. We started off pretty well on this game with not that many ads. And then out of the blue, we're getting ads. All right, which one will we choose? Acid rain that melts flesh, a bear hungry since a day, so the bear should be fine, or a large blue whale. I mean, a whale is fine, right? A whale is fine. Now, I'm gonna choose the whale, but I have a feeling it's gonna say wrong. I chose the whale. Oh, it said right. Oh, okay. So it wasn't Trixie. The other thing I was gonna do was take one of those rats from the screen, let's pull that back up, and then give it to the bear and then run away. That, that was my other idea, but I guess we're fine. Find a way to open one of the doors. So we've seen this one. We tap in the middle. No, wait. Find a way to open one of the doors. What? Wait, am I dragging? Wait, hang on. So the thought process here is we're opening one of the doors. I thought these thing opened. Oh, there you go, yeah. Okay, so we move this. And then we take the ank, we put it here, we take the ujit, I think that's what it's called, and we take the flower. There we go. We made it. We, we saw this in the preview though, I am cheating. Just a smidgen, just a smidgen of cheating. Find a way to escape from the castle. Now, these are two identical doors, but does the hammer have anything to do with it? Here, hold the hammer. Dude, hold, hold that. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to hold the hammer. What if I smash? Aha! I smashed it! I was like, it's made out of bricks. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't, I don't want coins. What do I do with the coins? I don't get it. So this next level is basically the same thing. We have a hammer. There's some kind of shadow going on and we still have to escape. So we have a chest here. What if I hammer the chest? What if I hammer the wall? Okay, same concept. I'm just breaking this. Nothing different. There's nothing weird about this. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Water with high volt electricity. Eesh. Oh, I see something. Did you notice it on the screen? Let me know if you did. Killer mad clown or deadly frost room. So I, I just saw it here. Let me know if you saw it too. We're gonna move the table and we're gonna put the boots on like so and then go into the high voltage room because rubber will not conduct electricity. No? What? Will it not? Am I not safe? Okay, killer mad clown or deadly frost room. I don't know. What the shrimp? So what am, What are my boots for? Do I stand, do I put, do I put this here? Do I not stand? Okay, I don't get it. Do I, I don't know. Is it the deadly frost room? But why? I can move the rats. Let me choose the deadly frost room. And the answer is still no. Let's check what the hint is. Rubber is a non-conductor. Okay, okay, movement from the front door. Isn't that what I did? Is this not what I did? Oh, because I pointed and clicked. See, if it were about intelligence, it would have worked. But I just had to drag him there, which was an extra bit of detail that does not prove how intelligent I am. Nazi. <laughs> All right, I shall not be deceived this time. We have to choose between lying hungry for two days. I think it should be fine. A ninja who'll chop off head, okay? And a sun that burns you down. Interesting. Now, what if... So there's a but there's a barrel here. Nothing behind the barrel. Can we do anything with the paper? No. So the hungry lion for two days should still be alive. I think we're okay with that. But the ninja that will chop your head off. I don't. I don't know. Let's try the lion in case they want. They say the lion's gonna kill us. No, we're dead. Okay. What if we put? No, I don't get it. What if we took the scroll here? Hold the scroll. No. What if nothing for this? I don't. It has to be something tricky though. What if I took the lion? I can't drag the lion. I was gonna try and drag the lion to the ninja, but clearly I can't. And I can't put the skeleton. I can't put the barrel. 
Can I move the skeleton? I can't move the skeleton. And I can't choose the sun. I can't choose the, oh, I can't choose the ninja either. Does it have anything to do with the spiders up there? No. Candles, no. Is it obvious to everyone else but me? Let's see the hint. And you want to charge me for 10 coins for free. I don't think we have a choice. A few ads later. All right, so what does the hint say? Drag the cloud from the second door to the third door over the sun? See, I knew. <laughs> no. I knew it had to do something with dragging something over one door to the next. So we're dragging the cloud onto the sun, like so. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm getting smarter now, I'm getting smarter now. So apparently we completed all 10 levels for that one, but I'm curious what the jungle book is, and then we're gonna do some more of the classics. Relive the playful friendship of Mowgli and Baloo. Help them team up, survive, and discover new ways to solve problems in the jungle. Help Baloo copy Mowgli's move. Whoa, I didn't do anything. Okay, hang on. Chill. Don't put that X. Hang on. Okay, there you go. Hello? I'm trying to lift the arm, but it's not working. What if I tickle him? <laughs> what if I tickle him? No tickling. What if I smack him? Mowgli, what do I do? Rocks? Can I move the rocks? I can't move anything. What do I do? And I don't have any coins. I really don't know. I'm trying to move his head and it's just not working. Okay, let's go for the hand because I'm s not smart. <laughs> let's go for the 10 free coin. 10 free coins. <laughs> many, 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 many ads later. So as I was saying, let's go ahead and see what kind of bull shrimp of advice they're giving us. Copy Mowgli's movement by tap. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't finish looking. So we have to hold his hand and pull it up. Wait, what? Oh, at the same time. Ah, oh, okay, I get it. It has to be exactly timed, right? I'm doing it. Stop moving. Oh, it's the other hand. Okay, this one. Gosh darn, 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 nabbit. Oh my gosh. I am getting so frustrated at this game. <laughs> I hate it. Now, there you go. And no, there you go. And that's it, okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. This game has nothing to do with intelligence. And I have goosebumps? That's how frustrated I am. Wow. I have to say that I know this is this whole puzzle is to help Mowgli and Baloo survive, but I hope they don't. I wanna go back. I'm gonna go back to classic puzzles. Goodbye, Mowgli and Baloo. Good luck to you. I want nothing to do with you. <laughs> Extinguish the fire. So I think we can put all the drops to- Oh, there you go. Drops together and extinguish the fire. That was pretty logical to me. I think I like the classics a lot more. Rebuilt the dog. No! What if- No, I don't want- No, I don't want the puzzles. Oh, no. I want to fast one. I don't want this. I want to skip. Yeah, just skip that one. Help rescue the boy. What, what if- How do I do that? I didn't rescue him. He's gonna die. Oh, the game- The game just shut down. The game just shut down. It's like, boy, it's gone. This is for you. That was not enough time for me to think. So we have, what if I move waves? I can't move the waves, the boy's dead. How do I do this? What if I pull, I can move, oh, okay, I just switched them. I thought I did that before. Didn't I try to do that? Pretty sure I did. Help the kid organize the pencil box. Okay, can we like sharpen this? Can I sharpen you? There we, there we go. Okay, so we can organize this, eraser, and there. I guess I'm an artist because I know that we needed to sharpen it first. Look at the image carefully and press continue. Okay. Okay, so we have green fish, crab with the red octopus and the yellow fish. Okay. Which two were the same color? Oh, it was the crab and the jellyfish. Which two animals were the same? It was the two fish diagonally. Okay. It See, I am smart, very smart. And you know what? I have to say that the classic is way more interesting than the other one. And this one has hundreds, hundreds of puzzles. Let's find the five differences. Let me know if you spot them before I do. First one I'm gonna see is that there's a, not an apple right above the hedgehog. So I'm gonna press right there. Did I do it right? I think I did. So there's no apple. Let's look at the squirrel. Nothing uninteresting about him. Oh, the clouds. There's a missing cloud up here. Hello? Am I, am I doing this wrong? There's a missing cloud. There you go, okay, I pressed it. How about the rat? 
with the cheese. Looks good. What about the rat with the green thing? Also looks good. All right, the bear. Something's off with the bear. There's gotta be something off with the bear. We have the hands on the hands. The feet are fine. We have the honey. Oh, there's a missing fish from the penguin right there. So we're missing two more. Oh, the snail is facing the wrong way. And the sun, the sun's facial expressions. There you go. I have to say, this is actually pretty cute. I feel like the ones that are with the story are where they're doing the most cash grab because you need the most hints. So here we have burst blue and red balloons. So we have the blue balloon. Okay, so all of them are good. What if I put them? Oh, what if I, no, hang on. Oh, I just need to tap them? No. Ah, uh, I made it into a red and then tapped them because the other ones were not red. They were magenta. Joke's on you. <laughs> Where's the genie? Just gotta rub the lamp. There's the genie. Oh, hello, genie. Oh, let's bring back that scene. Well, hello, genie. What's your name? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that Smart Brain is both a dumpster fire game and also entertaining. It's kind of in between for me because there's some shady practices. It's just tricky. So I understand the fact that half the fun is the trickiness, but if it keeps costing you 10 coins for every hint, then they're basically requesting that you buy the coins. It's, it's a pay to win to a certain degree, but it was cute. If you want to watch me play some very frustrating games, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a live stream that you may have missed, Make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you trash pandas in the next dumpster fire game.